Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Now, I've heard a lot of dumb shit the last couple of weeks, but nothing compares to what I just read. And, you know, this is a statement. Well, I'm not even going to read a statement, but Andre Berto thinks that Andre Ward can stop Sergey Kovalev in a fight this weekend. How the hell you think that shit, man? You must really got a concussion because Sean Porter beat the hell out of you a few, a couple of months ago. And you talking about some Andre Ward can, can stop Sergey Kovalev. How the fuck can he stop Sergey Kovalev? Huh? I watched Andre Ward hit this dude flush across the chin on several different occasions late in the rounds. And this dude didn't even flinch, man. You know, this is going to be a close fight, man. I don't care what anybody says. And I don't got to support Andre Ward if I don't want to. Everybody, you know, if you black, you got to support Andre Ward. You know, or you, know, you got to hate on Sergey Kovalev. I'm going to tell it to you like this, right? I don't give a fuck about either one of these two motherfuckers. How about that? I don't give a fuck about Sergey Kovalev because he's a racist. And I don't give a shit about Andre Ward. All right? I don't give a shit about him holding, near motherfuckers, elbow motherfuckers when he holding a clinch. Okay? That's what he does. He's dirty, okay? And motherfuckers want to say he he's on steroids now. You know, this shit crazy, man. This shit dumb as fuck, all right? Let these two motherfuckers fight this weekend, and whatever happens, happens, you know? Andre Ward won the first fight. Shit happens, okay? Now, just remember, it's going to be harder for him to get a decision this time around, okay? Because people are watching. People people know what's up. People, Most people feel like Andre Ward lost the first fight anyway, to Sergey Kovalev. He got dropped in the second round. First round, he gets staggered by a fucking jab. You know, Sergey Kovalev could have stopped Andre Ward if he wasn't so fucking lazy. How about that? That's another thing. He's giving up all these excuses, talking about, oh, well, you know, he, he trained too hard for this fight. Man, shut the fuck up. C.T. Fletcher said, ain't nobody overtraining for shit. You know who C.T. is. All right? So Sergey Kovalev better eat his fucking Wheaties and knock Andre Ward the fuck out. Otherwise, he's going to lose his fucking fight. He's going to get outboxed, all right? And I really think Andre Ward could get outboxed by Sergey Kovalev. But it don't fucking matter if you don't knock him out. But I don't know what the fuck Andre Berto's smoking, man. Let me get some of that shit you smoking on. It's your flathead, nigga. Let me get some of that shit you smoking. Andre Ward going to stop Sergey Kovalev. How? Who who stopped? Who's the last person that stopped Sergey Kovalev? Who's knocked Sergey Kovalev out? Nobody. I'm trying to hear that shit. You know, uh, you know, Sergey Kovalev got more power than Andre Ward. Andre Ward in the gym trying to lift some weights, trying to get his weight up and shit. That shit ain't gonna help, man. You better stick to the basics and the fundamentals. I know y'all gonna hate this fucking video, but I don't care, man. Care about that shit? Sick all this Andre Ward back and forth shit. Motherfuckers gotta. Praise and love Andre Ward because he SOG, son of God. Yeah, all right, okay. I thought we was all sons of God, right? But what makes you so fucking special? Light skinned niggas, man, I swear, man. You know, it's going to be a good fight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not as excited as I was the first time around. But we're going to see. We're going to see if Sergey Kovalev's an alcoholic, if he's scared, if he's just blowing smoke up everybody's ass. We don't know. We're going to see if Andre Ward's ready. We're going to see if Andre Ward can, can deal with him better this time than he did the first fight. We'll see. We don't know what's going to happen right, right now. Not until both of them motherfuckers get in the ring. Both of them can talk shit. Sergey Kovalev been talking mad shit about him. But he don't like black people anyway. Andre Ward talking about he don't want to promote the fight as USA versus Russia. That's what the fuck it is. USA versus Russia. You see what's going on in the world? You better promote that shit. Get your money. Stop playing around. Stop trying to be a nice guy. Motherfuckers ask you if you think you pound for pound. You better say yes, nigga. You better show us some confidence. You didn't even want to take the fight in the first place. Did you? Talking about you was going to retire? You had a fucking rematch clause, nigga. You ain't retiring shit. Both, fuck both of these motherfuckers, man. Sick of boxing right now. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the fight. Let me know who you think's going to win. Not that it really matters. Because y'all can't fight for either one of these motherfuckers. Giving these niggas support. Going right ahead.
Go right ahead. Split the boxing community up. Go right ahead. Be my guest. I'm just keeping it real. Y'all can't handle that shit. What y'all gonna do if Andre Ward get knocked out? What y'all gonna do? What's, what's gonna be the excuse then? Oh, it was lucky? Lucky shot? See, I don't care who wins the fight. I don't care who wins. I don't care. Could care less. But, if I'm leaning toward the side, and most likely because of Sergey Kovalev's past actions, I hope he does fucking lose the fight. Putting fucking monkeys on t-shirts, calling them black people. That shit ain't fucking cool. Andre Ward and his fake persona. Fuck it. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think happens in the fight. And you know what? I didn't even know this shit was this weekend. Didn't even know. Promotion's been shit. Kathy Duva sucks dick too. Anyway, shout out to Rock Nation. Shout out to Jay Z. Yeah. Hitman Boxing. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best not exactly where i thought i'd be honestly a nine to five never was in my dreams i've been feeling all alone lately nothing i ain't used to since 88 as a baby when i came up out the womb everybody knew it was something special about me that fills the room i never understood it but my og told me it's a blessing i should use it to the fullest and that's what i've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of clouds I dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me it's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free From this army of clouds